So here's a plot of the response of a force-driven oscillator with damping. Um, the equation down here uh, shows the amplitude. I've called the force 1. Uh, I've written the natural frequency omega 0 as s over m. And uh, I want to explore how this response depends on mass, stiffness, and damping. The mass shows up in two places. The stiffness shows up once. The damping shows up once, and I've created an animation here that allows me to change the values of those numbers to see what happens. So, if I change the damping, increase the damping in the oscillator, I can see that it has a huge effect near resonance. That uh, the amplitude is severely changed in the resonance, the damping controlled region, but nothing happens to the displacement response at the stiffness controlled region or the mass controlled region. Changing the damping only has an effect near resonance. If I do the same thing with stiffness, if I change the stiffness parameter, I can see that it causes a, if I make the stiffness smaller, it lowers the resonance frequency, as we would expect. But as a result, in this region of the frequency response, the amplitude response is much greater than it was before. While over in the mass controlled region at higher frequencies, there's not nearly as much a difference. If I increase the stiffness, the resonance frequency goes higher, so there is a bit of an effect out here to the right in the higher frequency, but way out to the right at higher frequencies, the, the difference is negligible. There's no difference at really high frequencies. And right here, uh, there's a significant decrease in the performance or the response of the system. Do the same thing with the mass. If I change the mass of the system in the mass controlled region, in this case, I've made the mass smaller, so the frequency, the natural frequency is higher, but in this region of the graph, the response is much higher than it was before, while in the stiffness region, it doesn't do much. So changing the mass affects the behavior at higher frequencies, but no, no change in the response at low frequencies. Same thing if I make the mass smaller, or larger in this case, make the mass larger. In the mass controlled region, the response drops quite a bit. And over here at the low frequency range, there's no change. So that's why we call those mass controlled, stiffness controlled, and damping controlled regions.